Hello my lovelies, it's Zena, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem that I found on the Mind Your Decisions YouTube channel. How high is the table? We are given this picture here with our table. On the left side we have a bird on the table and here a dog and the distance between the head of the bird and the head of the dog is given by 130 centimeters and on the right side they changed their positions and we have the dog here on the table and this time the distance between the head of the dog and the head of the bird is given by 170 centimeters. We have to find the height of the table and I want to show you two different ways how to solve this problem. First a graphical one and then a more mathematical one. Let's start with the graphical approach where we take our table and we just put a second identical table here on top of our table. We leave the animals as they are on the right side but the, the animals on the left side we take them and we put them up one level so that our situation looks like this where we have our animals here as they were but this time here they went up one level. How does this help us now? Well, now the dogs are on the same level. So here is the head of the dog. I still know that this distance here is given by 170 centimeters and this distance here is given by 130 centimeters. But now I can combine them because I have here the same level. So from the head of the bird to the head of the dog the distance was given by 130 centimeters. So if I want to go from the top here, from the head of the bird, down to the head of the other bird, I can just add these two distances. So 130 plus 170, which gives me 300 centimeters in total. So that my situation looks like this now. Okay, we still want to find the height of one of these tables. So either the height of this table or the height of this table. We are still given the distance here by these 300 centimeters, but here I have the space above my table and this is the height of the bird so I'm actually not interested in this space here but I'm also not interested in this space here from the bottom to the head of the bird so this is the height of the bird and this is the height of the bird as well I'm interested in the measurement of my table so why can't I just take this green distance and not measure from the head of the bird to the head of the bird but to drag down this green distance here I take it down and then it automatically drops down here as well and then I know the distance automatically from the table here the second table down to the bottom because I just moved this green distance down. So this here is still 300 centimeters. So both tables together have a height of 300 centimeters. Because my tables are identical, they have the same height. So half of 300 is 150 centimeters for my um, table here and also 150 centimeters for my second table and so this was a graphical approach to solve this problem but I promised you to show you a second method a mathematical approach because we want to find the height of the table so we call the height of the table t we call the height of the dog d and we call the height of the bird B. And now I want to find connections between D, T, 
B and the numbers that are given here. So if we take a look at the left side, we also see the height of the bird in here, right? So from the head of the bird here down to the table, this is the height of my uh, bird, so this is B. And then from the table, down to the floor, this is the height of my table, so this is T. And if I go from here down to the bottom, this distance here is the same as going here from the head of the bird down to the bottom. So I have an equation that my B plus T has to be the same as the 130 centimeters plus the D. So 130 plus D. And this is an equation, a first one. We have three variables in here, so we need more equations. But uh, first of all, maybe we bring all variables on one side of the equation. So we subtract D on both sides here and here, so that we have B here, plus my t minus d equals 130 on this side because this cancels out. This is my first equation. What about a second one? Well, let's take a look at the right side where we have the height of the dog here. So from up here to my table, this is the height of my dog, so d. And from the table down to the bottom, this is the height of my table here as well. So this distance here is also the same as this distance. So D plus T this time is the same as 170 plus my B. And also here, I can bring this b to the other side of the equation by subtracting b on both sides here and here, so that I have my d here plus my t minus b equals the 170, because this cancels out. So I have a second equation. The problem is, I don't know where to find more equations, so let's just take these two and let's hope that we can find the height of the table with these two, although we have three variables here. We have b in here and negative b in this one. We have t in here and t in here as well. And here we have negative d and positive d in this one. We can get rid of variables here if we just add these two equations because we have b minus b here. So if we add the equations, let's do that. We have b plus minus b cancels out. We have t plus t gives us 2t and we have negative d plus d cancels out. And on the other side, if we add these two numbers, we get a result of 300. Hmm, we had this number before. To solve for t, we just divide by the 2 here on both sides of the equation so that this cancels out. My t is left and 300 over 2 equals 150 and this is the height of my table. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!